Close your eyes, little bird. Tomorrow is a new world, little bird. Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dex. Last episode, we, yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on. We actually met Raycast, or at least got contact with him. And we also found Decca again, who reached Tony's shortly after we did. We learned about cyber, cyberspace. And yeah, now we are ready for getting augmented. So let's go for it. Right now we are in the Taijo. And I think the Chinese gate is what he called it. So probably if we head south, we should be able to reach this. Let's see about that. Pick up missing person poster. Could this be us? Nope. It's Shen Xiao Long. Contact Chen Tao in Taijo. Okay. Shen Xiao Long. Let's see if we um, meet her. What is this going on? The world is falling <coughs> into hell. Okay. Uh, yeah, what exactly do you mean? You know how I will stop the fall? Tell me. With my secret, my magnus opus. Technology is going to take on a new meaning. Change forever. Unfurl. Fight the power. You... You might understand. Yeah, greatness takes on surprising forms, doesn't it? Appearances are shadows, illusions. I used to wear a tie, okay? <laughs> For Samuel. That's right. Information technology officer. That's what I was. Yesterday. So, what happened? And then things started to happen they started pulling the knot pulling it till i choked till i couldn't do my job no more <sighs> i was 52. they said i was too old school to work in it pulling the knot an old guy doesn't get to undo no knots you got to carry your curses no one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. I see, man. Now, now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. In the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. Okay, so yeah, what exactly do you need? <laughs> Antidepressants to shut up the talking ones. Anxiolytics. <laughs> Venium, whatever. Anything to shut them up. Let me concentrate on my work. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, why don't you get them yourself? This is my circle. <laughs> I can't step out. I have to check it every morning to make sure it isn't broken. Voices shout from outside. <laughs> I... <laughs> I can hear them. You understand? You understand? Okay, you know... I <laughs> like to hear a little more about your grand plan actually come on enlighten us dangerous no get me the pills and then i'll tell you <laughs> okay uh yeah what's in it for me man oh you help an old man of the street and when the world kneels that man will remember you okay uh you know what i kind of like you so yeah i see if i can get some pills for you <laughs> the right allies yeah. investing <laughs> clever <laughs> I'll wait here in 
my circle. Yeah, you stay here. I mean, uh, we want to make an old guy feel a bit better. Can't resist that. Let's see where this is going. Nowhere. Okay, Georgie. Sweet. Okay, can we? What's this all about? Another missing poster. Okay, what's this shop exactly? How we walk right by a policeman. Hi there. What can I get you? Yeah, who's this man on this poster? It says you promise a reward. Oh, yes, of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? Uh, no, I'm sorry, but um, can you give me any hints? Do you have any idea where he could be? I wish I knew. He vanished two weeks ago. He said nothing before he left. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's... More of a woman. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... Okay, so how did he change? A new style, clothes, hair... Always in front of mirror, acting like tough guy in front of customer. Hmm. Yeah, I can see where this is going. So yeah, any idea where I can find I this lady? I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner. Always sitting on a secret. Like her life was being lived by another. I didn't trust her. Not at all. Ah! But Lily has a friend. Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese Quarter, downtown. I don't know her, but if you can find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen, or at least Lily. Okay, so we have this Charlene lady downtown, Charlene. Uh, okay, I'll see Thank what I can you do. so much. I light a candle for Shen every night. Okay, do we have anything going on over here? Can we hack something, maybe? Nope, not at all. Okay, sweet. So, once we head downtown, we'll make sure to check for... Yeah. For Chalen. Chinese Quarter. Oh, that's, that's a gun shop. That's pretty sweet. And then we have the Taijo. Downtown. Yeah, where's the Chinese gate? Exactly. Yeah, I would love to get... Nice clinic. That, there it is. How can I get there? Can I drop down? Yeah, I can. Okay, awesome. And there's a police officer just standing in front. Fine. Well, these guys, they don't look happy. Well, hello there. It's Dix, right? The blue hair. <laughs> Decker should have just told me to look out for the prettiest thing to grace my labs since I switched my eye out for an EHF scanner. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Dr. Niles, your very own implant neurology surgeon. Okay. <laughs> That's neurology with an N, right? <laughs> <laughs> and humor, too. You're quite the specimen, aren't you? Now, Decker's message was very curt, but he said you needed implants, is that right? Quite rare to see a first time a march in already, willing. Any questions? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Let me just check them out. So yeah, Decker told me I need a neuroweave. What sort of operation are we talking about here? Neuroweave? Well, why didn't he say? Uh, we got something of a problem, but I'll come to that if you choose to have one. Okay. First, what it is. 
A neural weave is a neural platform for multiple high-end augmentations. You will become adaptable, scalable, and upgradable. I, I won't lie, it means you're heading for some drastic changes. Okay, um, yeah, what do you mean by Don't that? Don't worry, the neural weave itself won't affect your appearance. <laughs> It'll simply affect how your body functions on the inside. Yeah, Sid wasn't talking about that, but okay. But if Decker wants you to install a neural weave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equips your brain to handle stimuli overload from multiple concurrent implants. Multiple. The neural weave is not a drastic change, but the implants that follow will be. I, I can only guess you'll be coming up against other augmented ones fighting fire with fire. It's the only reason Decker would want you augmented to this level. So, hmm. I'm going through all of these options right now. Yeah, so let's say I agreed. Uh, how much would it cost me actually? I can perform the operation for free. I owe Decker that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is neural weaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. Yeah, can't you just order one? And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, it's way too risky to install a faulty one. The consequences would be unimaginable. So, yeah, uh, thanks for actually um, saying that. So, yeah, you said implants are being sabotaged. Do you know who's doing it? Wish I did. Nobody knows. At first, everyone thought it was bad luck, a, a production line blunder, but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware. What's happening is deliberate. And the situation is only getting worse. A friend of mine, Dr. Holm, owns a drugstore next to Fix's Hope. From what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Anyway, the deal is, if you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to Holm. He's bound to know things I don't. Yeah. But, but go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg. Okay. But where exactly is this home guy? Did Hello you say that? Again, Dex. What can I do for you? So yeah, I'm hurt. Could you oh, actually patch so me up? I see. Sure thing. It'll cost just fifty credits. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> okay, can we have something around here? No, we cannot. All right. So let's check our journal for a second. Yeah, Starcross Lovers and Chill Pills. Where is the... Get Augmented, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I met with Dr. Niles and he told me there is a crisis going on in the implant black market. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. He can't risk installing a fault neural wave on me. He asked me to investigate the issue. He suspects this is no accident, etc. etc. He pointed to a friend, Dr. Holm, who owns a drugstore next to Fixes Hope. Okay, so we actually need to get back to Fixes Hope. Uh, before we do that though, I would like to check out this gun shop, see what they have in store. Die! If the sun didn't just come out out, how do you, sister? What can this old jarhead be doing for you? Yeah, so 
A friend recommended your shop. Said you know all there is to know about weapons. Smart friend. Yeah, I'm no stranger to firearms. So you mean business, do you? Well, let me know what catches your eye. Yeah, let me see what you got. Well, 1.6k for a shotgun, 900 for a magnum, and 600 for a <laughs> Nox 17. Okay. Uh, med kits, neuro stims, shotgun ammo, ammo. Okay. Yeah. So I don't feel like we need a gun right now. And if I was to buy one, I would probably be buying a better one. So let's see about this push button. Okay, where is this taking us exactly? Okay, that's so wild. Let's get in. Just explore some Liking stuff. Your taste, girl. There she for is. Some fun time. A little travel and relax. How about it? Yeah. Yeah, are you offering what I think you're offering? <laughs> Ain't you the cutest? I'm offering you a moment, girl. No harm in that. Let me lay you down. Come. 80 credits for a dream. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Follow me, sweetie. Let's go to my place. That weren't your first time, honey. My knobbly still ain't done shaking. <laughs> now, I gotta get back to looking like I still need satisfying. Come find me again, okay? Yeah, actually, let's have a talk. Hey, it's you. Rolling back up for some more of the same? It only gets better with me, honey. Uh, yeah, you're Shalin, right? I have a few questions about Lily and her boyfriend. Look, I don't know Lily so much as to be calling her a friend, alright? What is it that you want to know? Yeah, what exactly is your relationship with her then? None of your business what exactly. We used to hang out, don't much anymore, and all. Okay, and where can I find two of them? Look. I haven't seen Lily in a while, alright? Why are you looking for them anyway? Yeah, Shen's missing and his sister is looking for him. Look, I don't know nothing about anything, alright? Shit. You're talking of trees that ain't your business and ain't mine. Now if you wanna get with me, fine. Any otherwise, leave me be. Yeah, come on. I don't know anything. Just stop asking questions. You'll get all of us into trouble. Now, please, leave. Okay, so she's obviously afraid. Hmm. Yeah, we could threaten her. I mean, she's obviously afraid, so threatening her might help us. <laughs> wow, okay, so we can threaten her in two ways. Um, yeah. So let's try the diplomatic approach, I think. I mean, when you're afraid of someone, why work so hard to protect them, Charlie? Why? Mm, perhaps you're right. Fine. Lily owns a club, the Aphrodite, on Afterlife Boulevard. Uh, you can find her there. Just don't mention my name. Please. I won't. Don't worry. That's awesome. Okay. So, yeah, we got it. Hey, you know what? It's you. Actually, yeah. Rolling Let's get some more of you. I've been oh. thinking about you, girl. It's not free. Round and round. Yeah. Make up your mind, girl. Okay, so you got anything for sale? She does. Wine, street, uh, street drugs, okay. Uh, condoms and a porn magazine. Okay, sweet. Uh, can we actually sell her stuff? We can. Can we? Can I, like, sell her this? I don't know. What? Yeah, maybe.
maybe the spawn DVD. Yeah, that's awesome. And this, those remains, I think we're going to hold on to. Um, yeah, those, this beer maybe. I don't know, let's just hold on to it. Yeah, fine. Stimulant dose and more pills and Neurostims. They restore focus. Okay, what else does she have? A wine bottle. Hmm. I mean, we might need this. Yeah, let's actually get one of those drugs just in case. We might need it somewhere. Oh, what is this? Oh, we could also read her email to find out where she is probably. Okay, so let's check it out. Um, uh, yeah, re Adonis Island opportunities from Charlene to Frank. Frank, stop trying to talk me into working for you. There's no way I'm going up there. Working non-stop. Drugs, particularly, uh, drugs practically on drip. And there's nothing to do on your damn island. I've heard the stories too, Frank. Not everybody makes it back, so I keep my freedom. Thank you very much. P.S. If you could get me some exalted though, I can come pick it up at the affiliate this weekend. Okay, and then exalted pickup from Charlene to Lily. Hey Lily, I was talking to Frank and <laughs> he'll have a new batch of exalta ready pretty soon. I ordered a few pills and asked him to send it to the Aphrodite. Aphrodite, Aphrodite. Uh, for me to pick it up there, I know what you're going to say, but <laughs> I have to send, have it sent to my place. There's always a risk Miss Johnson will see it, and you know that old hack. She'd have the cops on my doorstep in a heartbeat. She's been trying to have me evicted for a month already. Not my fault, our building has thin walls. Anyway, you'll be there, right? So I guess I'll see you then. Okay, so Charlene and Lily are probably dealing drugs. And then enough from Charlene to Speedy. Damn it, Speedy, will you stop sending me flowers? Look, you're sweet, but you're 14 for Christ's sake. Get a crush on someone your own age, will you? And stop calling me Carla. That's what my mom used to call me. <laughs> How do you even know that? Okay, so she also got a uh, underage stalker going for her. All right, so let's take a quick look at what happened this episode. We met Georgie, the homeless, and then talked to Shen's sister about him going missing. And then we talked to Dr. Niles about our needle weave, and then we agreed to investigate the sabotaged implants so we can get our hands on an intact needle weave. And then we stumbled on Charlene, the friendly hooker and drug dealer from next door, and we actually had some fun with her. And after some persuasion, she told us about Shen's girlfriend, Lily, and that she owns a nightclub called the Aphrodite. So yeah, lots of things going on. Uh, see you in the next episode, guys.